Well, here's another video. If you own a first gen Volvo VNL with a sleeper, and you have the four shocks, one, two, three, four over here. Those center shocks that are horizontal, take them off and throw them out. Buy these pieces here. There's the one part number, you need two of these. They're the same part. And then this rod, which you can get off eBay if you want. I got them from Volvo. I got a guy I work with. Uh, it's hard to see the part number. I don't think that's it. Anyway, it's one end, so it doesn't stick out as far. And you replace it, you got to drill four holes. Two for this, two for that. What it's going to do is sandwich, and I don't remember which one goes where, I'd have to look, but you just sandwich it, and it goes to the shock mount on the other side. I think this goes that away, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Let me get in here, get set up, and start uh, pulling parts. All right, first order of business. I hope you can see this. You want to get these shocks out of here. It's just nut and bolts. We'll need to pull the leveling valve there's a bracket that goes here really just you got to get rid of these plates where it's mounted All right. also if you notice the cab is shifted Apparently, the bolt is a bigger size than the nut. Uh, unless they're all what the heck they do. Well, maybe if I had the right wrench. 13 16. A lot of different bolts here.
that's getting a new bolt. Anybody see there? Oh, you gotta be kidding. That's not what them are. I don't know what they are. Got to remove this anyway. So, no, I hope those are welded. Why don't they make everything the same here, dang it? Okay, that's two brackets. I don't know how the hell that come off.
All right, I'm back. I ended up cutting the bolts off. I have no idea how each bolt comes in. Hits the other bolt and try to gig it out. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell, but cab is shifted to the right. What you'll need is a ratchet strap to pull it. So what you do, use one of your bolts. Just get it snug for now. This is going to go here. Can you see it? I'll get the camera here and we'll show you. But that will keep the cab from rocking, not rock, shifting side to side. It's hard to tell, but if you see how, see how it, it's in here, and over here it's way out. So it's got to come over to the left a uh, couple inches. And then you just got to drill four holes, which, oh, that's going to be fun. I got DeWalt drill bits and they're garbage. All right, let's start. Uh, what should I do next? We gotta line the cab up. I gotta go get a ratchet strap and um, this. I'll have to get, there's a bracket that goes here. I don't know if I gotta drill. I'll have to look and see how this mounts. Yeah. This stupid truck, I gotta figure out where the all the air, it leaks air. I had it running earlier so I wasn't recording because I had to have it aired up. Not even sure where I left off. Obviously, I cut these bolts out, got that out. Got this here lined up. Got two holes drilled. Of course, they're not uh, that one there. I need a little, gonna come over a little bit. I've still got to do the two back holes. These drill bits are not doing too bad. So that's a good thing. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna drill, or not gonna. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to air the truck back up. I've got this ratchet strap. I've got her pretty centered, pretty happy with it. So let me get that done and then we'll come back uh, and get some more footage. I've got to get four bolts for that, which I've probably got. I've just got to go look for them. And then I've got to figure out how the, um, we don't even know where it's at. I don't know, remember how this goes. I'd have to look up a picture. This part here is going to go to this. If I remember, it goes this way. Heck, I don't know. 
I'll figure it out. All right, we're in the home stretch. Got some nuts and bolts. Yeah, you can't see anything, can you? Get some uh, lock washers, all that stuff. You don't want it loosening up. And you gotta find wrenches. Uh, hold on, hold on. Nine sixteen. And I'm wrong, half inch, or whatever you use.
My holes are a little crooked. the oh, it's probably on the ground I think it fell there's a wrench I want to tighten this up before that's not it. I should be able to take this off, but I want to put the nut on first. If I can find this stupid thing, found it. See what happens. Oh, yes. A 
little tip use a shorter strap What is it with these dang sockets? All right, there you go. I just gotta figure out how to get the leveling valve remounted. I need to look it up. I had pictures of this, but I don't know what happened to them. I gotta get a new brack uh, arm here. It's broke. I should have bought one anyway, as old as this truck is. 20 years old. All right, I'm going to end this here because the rest of it is pretty simple. I need a new one of these. It's cracked. I'm probably going to replace the leveling valve just while it's all apart. You need to do some rerouting of your airlines. You have your supply line goes on this side so I need a longer line I just have to splice it in and run a loop around and then for the airbags comes out of here I'm not gonna run a line coming up uh, I may can just turn this <clears throat> Nah, I don't want it coming out this way. I'll probably just run a line off on a 90 down and then out to the airbags from a T. So I can use possibly no oh, shoot. <clears throat> I just need a quick connect T three way. I can reuse this one. And then air in, air out to your bags. Pretty simple. <clears throat> you need to, it's loose here. I just stuck it up for, for now. But this arm was this way because this valve was rotated. So you just need to take this nut, the screw out, turn this arm and these notches. You'll figure it out. And then we get the height adjustment. And it should ride a little better because mine was sagging so far to the right. This bumper was always down. And this one had about a, a gap. So I don't, the cab never really bounced like it should have. <clears throat> All right. Um, like I said, we're going to end this here. The only thing, uh, I went and got some grade eight bolts because I figure this is going to take a lot of stress. I had, uh, there was a hole here already. I drilled another one and, uh, just got to wait till I can get, uh, some fittings to air it all up. I can probably go get them at the hardware store tomorrow, but I'm sure you can figure it out. If you got any questions, you can post them. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.